Great news for the Ableton gang because Live 12.1 is now in public beta and adds a auto-tune device and a drum sampler among a whole lot of other new features. Honestly, the amount of new stuff in this update is crazy and there are also some nice additions to push. You can check out all the features from the release notes on Ableton's website, I've linked them down in the video description and if you own a license to Live 12, you can start using the 12.1 beta today, right now. And Ableton Live betas are usually pretty decent in terms of stability, but of course for any serious and critical work, I would recommend just using the stable version until this 12.1 update is released officially. So let's have a closer look at some of the new features. There are so many of them, but here are a couple that caught my eye. So let's first have a look at Auto Shift, the auto-tune style Ableton Live device. It actually works with audio clips in a really neat way because the audio clips now have the scale aware feature that you can enable and associate the audio clip with the scale. So I've got this vocal sample that is in G sharp minor or A flat minor. So I select the scale from the drop down menu of the audio clip. And so it doesn't really change the scale of the audio file by itself, but it informs auto shift what scale it should work at. So if we switch scale aware for auto shift as well, we notice that it is now set to G sharp minor. But even if this sample is quite in tune, we can still mess around with the pitch. And one of the coolest parameters is the format, which changes the timbre of the voice. So let's try to change the key of this sample. Obviously, if you're using the scale where these settings cannot be changed from the auto shift, but we can go to the audio clip and switch it to, let's say, E minor. So if we go back to auto shift, now auto shift is automatically switched to E minor. And we can also do harmonies by combining two auto shift plugins into an audio effect track. And the second one, as you can see, it has also been automatically set to the same key. So I've shifted the second copy of Auto Shift five scale degrees up and it creates a harmony. I, I, I need you. We also have an LFO section, but I will go into more detail in another video dedicated to this device. One thing to note, is that it adds latency and it, the latency depends on the input settings. So for the bass setting, the latency is quite high. So you set it to bass if your input signal is more of a bass sound. Mid still adds quite a bit of latency and high, which is probably the best for female vocals, still adds moderate amount of latency, 17 milliseconds, but you also have the live mode which switches to zero latency. So you can use this live and sync through it in real time or use any instrument. Of course, this is not only for vocals. So the auto shift may be the biggest feature of Live 12.1. However, for me, the most exciting one is the new drum sampler. So the idea of the drum sampler is to use it instead of the one shot mode in simpler and it's more optimized for drums with some really, really cool features actually. Besides filters that are tuned for filtering drums, it's quite more simplified than simpler. And it also has this really dope effect section. You got the stretch effects. Which goes into granular territory. We also have loop. Punch. Kind of like a transient shaper, but not quite. Cool stuff like 8-bit. FM, really dope. So you can apply frequency modulation to your drums. Really quick way to come up with some really interesting drum sounds. You can also add noise. And a sub oscillator. Let's try this one with the kick.
Now guys, this is really cool. The Ableton Live browser now auto tags your samples. This means that it recognizes the samples from your sample library. It knows what they contain. So let's say you just select your samples folder and you just wanna browse through all your claps. You just hit clap and it will filter all the sounds that are claps. And you can also filter by loop and one shot. Let's say you want a loop. Let's say you want a guitar loop. Can, can it handle this? Kind of. Can it filter only the, let's say, acoustic guitars? Kind of, not sure. The electric guitars? Works pretty well. So a lot of people were requesting this feature because it's good to have the tags in the browser, but going through all your samples and tagging them, this would take forever. It's really not something that a lot of people would want to do. So this is really, really nice. You just basically don't need to do anything. You just need to wait for Ableton to analyze all your samples. It does it the first time you launch this new 12.1 update and then you're good to go. So the saturator also got a really nice update. It was a bit too complicated, I feel, and now it just emphasizes the most important parameters. You can still click this arrow and get all the parameters that we used to have before, but this is a much more user-friendly experience. And you also have the bass shaper. So this is really cool for bass sounds. And so with this amount low, if you lower it a bit, it lets the bass come through without distorting it, so it will preserve the fatness of your bass and 808. So Saturator suddenly got a lot, a lot better. Super nice update. And the other nice update is the limiter, which now looks kind of more like a proper limiter. It also has a couple of new modes. Besides the standard mode, you got the soft clip mode. <laughs> apply subtle soft clipping to the peaks of your waveform. You got the true peak mode, which is for handling those intersample peaks to prevent clipping. And again, this is just some mastering stuff, but even if you're not into this, I think the new limiter is really cool. It also has this really cool maximize mode. So it's not like turning up the input gain, like in the regular mode, you turn on maximize and just by lowering the threshold, it will just increase the loudness. So it basically works like a maximizer. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this one. I will make more detailed videos on this update as I spend more time with it. Catch you in the next one.